Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today I've got a Middle Eastern fragrance haul. So we got four fragrances to take a look at, so stay tuned. So it's been a while since I've done a Middle Eastern fragrance haul. Um, I've had these four fragrances for quite a while. Uh, just haven't had a chance to get stuck into them and to try them. Um, we've got one fragrance from Ardal Zafran and we got three from Latafa. So I will put a link to a playlist that's got all my Middle Eastern uh, videos on there's a lot of interesting fragrances amongst them and um, so I'm hoping you'll go and dig in and watch some of my older videos and um, but we'll crack in and try these shall we so on to the first fragrance and this one is from Ardal Zafran which I think are a trading company under the Latafa don't quote me on that. Someone has told me that in the past. Um, it's very hard to find out any details when you go delving in. But anyway, Ardal Zafran, I've got quite a few of their fragrances, really enjoy them. And I'm sure someone has recommended this one to me and it's Oud Romancia. And this is a 100ml Eau de Parfum. So this is what it looks like. I'm a bit worried because it seems to be moving around quite a bit inside. So it's like a, a white pebbled effect. And then on the sides you've got like a silver stripe. It's got like a gold band around. I like the gold plaque and then the black bit in the middle with Oud Romancia. You've got the Ardal Zafran badge in the top. And then it's got some notes, it's got the authentication sticker, and then it's got some details on the bottom. So let's have a look at the bottle. Hopefully it's not been damaged because it seems to be moving around. Uh, so straight away looking at this, it reminds me of a fragrance that I've got, which is um, Roshas Mustache just by the shape of the bottle as you can see it's a very unique sort of bottle it's got Oud Romancia on it but it's very difficult to read I like the cap I like the whole design of it it's really nice but what does it smell like the cap is really light and a gold feel um, it's a bit weird that the Atomizer is a slightly different colour, more of a rose gold, but we'll give it a spray, shall we? My spray is a bit all over the place. At first I thought it was really good and then it did a few strange things. So, in the air it's quite nice. So you're getting a sweet orange coming from this straight away. Like a mandarin. It's quite fruity, a few citruses. Definitely pick out lemon. I think I can pick out like a peach as well. It's got some florals in there some light spices I'll pick out rose I think but it's not like a dominant rose quite a few aldehydes I'd say it's a little bit green as well and it's got like a, a muskiness now I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be uh, a clone of. You tend to find a lot of these are clones of uh, big niche fragrances. 
not quite sure what it is that it's supposed to be cloning. So I'd say definitely a summer fragrance. I'd say unisex. If anything, I would say it probably leans a bit more feminine. It's quite jammy as well. Yeah, I like it. It's definitely one that I would wear. And it's ideal for this time of year. Well, while we've still got some sun anyway. So I'll come back and we'll test it a bit later, shall we? So on to the next one, and this is a Latafa. Now I've got the other two in the range of this one. Uh, one is in a blue box, one is in a white box, and this comes in a black box, and it's opulent oud. Now those two fragrances are in boxes still, at the mother-in-law's house so eventually i'll get round to getting all my collection back together once so we've done finished the decorating and we can get stuff moving in so as with the other two it's got a velvet sort of feel on the box this has got a gold latafa badge in the top i like the badge in the middle opulent oud and this again is a 100 mil eau de parfum it's got the latafa sign in the corner as well the authenticity sign and then you've got a bit of the ingredients on the back and once again you've got like a qr code and a barcode etc on the bottom so these bottles are quite nice from what i can remember of the other two and this is no different in fact this probably looks better so as you can see it's a really nice quality looking fragrance and it says opulent across the cap nothing really going on on the bottom or on the back but you've got the badge and the name cap is quite light and plastic again it does have the Latafa badge in the top. So let's give this one a try. So I know that people have recommended me to get this and it was one that I had the other two and I thought I might get it eventually but then a couple of people recommended getting it because it's that good. So I thought I'll go and get it should I. Now I can't remember how much I've paid for these but what I will try and do I'll go back through my email receipts see if I can find how much I've paid for each of these now that is strong stuff so I'm getting a real strong oud coming from it straight away so it's like oud, saffron, caramel it's quite fruity. It's got like a sweetness to it, but it's like a, a dry sweetness, like quite powdery. Getting a bit, a little bit of lemon. Very rich and creamy. Maybe a touch of leather in there. It's very woody. That is nice. I do like that. Now I've been told that this is a take on, well, it's similar to um, Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton, and it's also similar to Royal Oud by Giorgio Armani. Now I've not tried either of those, so I can't really say. That's really nice, it's like a burnt toffee smell in there, but not like an overpowering touch of leather definitely that's really nice definitely say it's more of a autumn winter fragrance and I would say it's more masculine but really enjoyable 
I'm looking forward to trying the dry down on that. So I've been looking at Latafa fragrances to pick up and been unsure about what to pick up. Um, and then I'm, as I was browsing, I saw um, the Ragba, which I've got, and the Ragba Wood Intense, which I've got, and then I saw the Ragba for Man. Now, I don't know anything about it, but those two are cracking scents. So I'm expecting it to be a bit similar, but maybe not as heavy as those two, or maybe it's piling the oud on and it makes it even more heavy, I don't know. But it's not one that people talk about very often, so I'm not sure it's gonna be as good as the other two. So this is the box, nice black box with gold right in. Now it does say there that it's got a perfumed deodorant inside. Uh, this is also a 100ml Eau de Parfum and on the side it has got a bottle of deodorant. I hope it's not just the deodorant. I have, I think when I had um, Ragba it had a deodorant inside which I've used and it's really good. So oh, it slides out. So this must be what it normally looks like. Like a marble effect. Looks quite smart. So let's open it up and have a look, shall we? So yeah, opening it up, it's definitely got a deodorant in there. There we go, that should be interesting. And here is the bottle. So very much like the outside, it's like a black and gold. I do like that, I think that looks really smart. Once again, very light plastic gold colored cap. But what does it smell like? You have a lot to live up to. So straight away, it's smelling very fresh. And I know what it smells of straight off. As if I haven't got enough of these clones. No, not Aventus. What's the other one that everybody clones? It's green Irish tweed. That's actually not a bad version. So it's definitely a green Irish tweed clone. You get the lemon verbena, you get lemon. It's green and aquatic, but it's not quite as green as green Irish tweed, I don't think. You're getting like an iris and a violet leaf in there. <laughs> to be fair, green Irish tweed, I know the notes off the top of my head. The sandalwood. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I was expecting something along the lines of the normal rag, but I, I should have done my homework really and seen what it was. I've probably got three, maybe four green Irish tweed clones, plus I've got cool water as well, which is a very similar sort of thing. But this works, this type of fragrance works, and the women tend to love this sort. I mean, I was rocking cool water back in the day and never had any complaints. So it's definitely a spring summer fragrance, definitely more masculine. I'd say that's a pretty decent copy, to be fair. I'll have to try it on skin, but like all of these I need to try on skin. I have been told that opulent oud is a lot better on skin than it is on paper so I'm going to have to try these on skin and what I might do, I might do a review of one of these. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you want me to review any of these which is the case with any of my Middle Eastern fragrances. If enough people want me to review them individually then I'm more than happy to do so. So on to the last one, and this is the most expensive of the four. And you'll see why when you see the presentation. I've actually got the other version of this as well, 
and this is the black edition so I might have given away what it is already but if you haven't already guessed it's Mahir edition black or black edition and it's the one with the horse's head you might have seen a few videos ago I did one with the normal edition of Mahir which is very fruity and musky really enjoyable summer fragrance which I have been wearing quite often to be fair and it actually comes in a bag like this which is very nice nice touch I think as if the presentation isn't great already so I'm expecting this to be a darker version of the original as you would expect with the same name but with black edition um, to be honest even if it doesn't smell good it's gonna look good on the shelf I think it looks absolutely stunning I'll show you the bottle in a minute as does the one which is like a clear bottle and a gold head so we got the Ardell Zafran sorry the Latafa um, badge on the top you've got Mahir black edition which looks like it's spelt wrong EID ITION, yep, uh, and Latafa. You've got the QR code on the side, you've got some details on the back, and it's an Eau de Parfum 100ml. So, I think it's got batch codes on the bottom, you can just about see. So, let's slide this out, and as you can see, it looks stunning really does look stunning so this is what it looks like look at that reminds me of a series I used to watch when I was a kid called Black Beauty so it's a very strange shaped bottle but I think it looks absolutely amazing and when it's sat next to the other one that I've got on the shelf I think it'll look superb so shall we try it really heavy cap as well really heavy it looks like a chess piece doesn't it looks like a chess piece looks fantastic so let's give this one a smell. High expectations for this one. Decent atomizer. Not going anything in the air yet. Oh wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. That is nice. So you get like citruses and pepper mixing together with a bit of saffron maybe maybe like a bergamot there's like a smoky incense coming through oh that's weird that is real nice it's very rare that you get like something that's smoky and peppery and it's still got like the citruses in that is very interesting so I'm definitely picking up a citrus if I was to guess I'd say lemon or bergamot because it is quite bright I'm getting a touch of rosemary in there but it's been overpowered by the smoky incense feel there's a leaviness in there as well and tobacco a bit of oud that's really interesting it's quite creamy I do like that that is right up my street that is that is fantastic 
I am going to enjoy wearing that especially as we're coming into autumn and winter sort of time so let's go back through them and see what I'm picking up after a few minutes so we'll start off with the Oud Romancia so that's turned into a very musky soapy scent still getting a hint of lemon but the like a white musk has taken over you still gain some florals it's quite nice That's, you can see why it's going to be like a summer fragrance and I do like a, a soapy feeling fragrance I'm definitely getting that coming back from it so the next one that we tried was opulent oud which very favorable really like that one let's try it again so that has got so much going on there's like resins the oud the woods that is really nice it's got a fruitiness but not like it's more of like a syrupy sweet sort of feel you can tell it's got saffron in there so I was told to try that one on skin so I think it might be a bit too hot to try that today but I'll definitely be trying it in the next in the coming days I think the web has got to turn in the next couple of days and we've got to start going cold so so on to the next one Ragba for men bit of a letdown because it's a green Irish tweed clone but it's a nice green Irish tweed clone I have smelt some clones of green Irish tweed and they've not been very good at all but that smells nice be interesting to see what the performance is like on that I do like green Irish tweed but I like the greenness of the original now this hasn't really got that greenness it has got a little bit but this is going more cool water which cool water you can pick up quite cheap nowadays but still quite nice still I am disappointed though if I'm honest because when you buy Middle Eastern frags you're expecting them to be more of a certain smell not so much like the um, Aventuses and that. I know that they do do a lot of them like Club de Nuit and tends to and Aventus I know Rosasi and stuff do that as well but it's enjoyable it's nice but I wouldn't have picked it if I'd known it was green Irish tweed so maybe I need to do a little bit of homework but then that takes away the surprise of what it's gonna smell like doesn't it so you win some you lose some I still probably wear it who knows it might I might even be a present to somebody and on to the last one Mahir black edition absolutely gorgeous looking that is so good smoky saffron peppery there's a creaminess to it there's a leather feel to it a bit of tobacco a bit of patchouli even picking up like a bit of myrrh I've tried myrrh and tonka recently well the pocket sense version of it and I absolutely love in that and this has got a myrrh feel to it I say it's quite herbal there's a bit of a fougere feel to it as well but the smoky incense seem to be taking over another one which I'm gonna really enjoy wearing 
because I think this seems like it's got so many different strings to its bow. This is going to be an interesting way. And like I've always said, paper is one thing, skin is a different thing altogether. But initial thoughts of all four of them, I think they all smell good. One, I'm a bit disappointed, but only because I've already got um, some clones which smell like it. So the other three, over the moon about. So three out of four, not bad. Um, but yeah, I'm still happy. As I normally am with my Middle Eastern frags, you can't go wrong to be fair. I mean, just look at the presentations of these. They just look superb. Just look how good they look. And that's without showing the horse's head. So, as always, with Middle Eastern fragrances, I need your recommendations. Without your recommendations, I would be stuck. So get them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share the video with people. Let's get the views up on it. And I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.